Hey Libra, what's going on? I am Solo69 and welcome to my channel. I am here for your May 2021 New Moon reading. This is for the New Moon in Taurus. That New Moon in Taurus bringing in some type of, um, you know, recapturing of things. This reading may not resonate with all of you Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever it falls into your chart. If it does not resonate with you for this reading, please check with your other placements and see what's going down with those. I would check with them anyway because you never know what hits may count. Check out the time to like, subscribe, and share. I don't know why I feel like I'm in the elevator. Okay, anyway, let me keep going. Let's go ahead and get into your reading and see what the new moon is bringing in for you. This is an ecliptic month. So, um, with this lunar eclipse coming in um, and showing up in the energy, it is a lot of hidden things that's coming out and maybe being revealed, um, showing up, um, surprises, just a lot of things that the, um, see, the thing about that, that full moon and, um, and Sagittarius, I mean, and um, Scorpio that just came through was unlocking gates. You know, it was like kind of like unlocking the gates to hell in such a way. You know, the, the darkness of uh, um, the veil being um, removed. And um, here we go type of shit. So now we got the Sagittarius full moon coming in to get ready to burn out all of that energy that that um, energy you know, of the feet is going into the tower. Um, and the tower taking place now that the tower is getting ready to fall. This this new I mean this this new energy that's coming in is getting ready to fill up with that all that debris, all that energy. You know what I mean? All that negative shit, and and and, and pushing it on up and out the way. And then we got this um this full moon um, because this is filling up that cup. And then whether what you know whatever debris that you're dealing with, whether it's good or bad, because it doesn't have to be bad debris, you know, all the time with shit. So whatever debris you're dealing with, then you got this um, energy with this um, full moon that's coming in in Sagittarius to help burn it up, you know, with make sure that it's fully um, sprayed out with the flames, you know what I mean? And so with if the Phoenix can come on and rise up out of them ashes, and then we we talking. Now we talking. You know what I mean? So here we go. This is that being risen from the dead, that crucifixion moment. Um, you know, rising from crucifixion um moment, yeah. This is what's stepping in. Everybody is going through their crucifix you know, fix, fix, fixations with whichever measurements that they have to deal with and now it's coming about who the phoenix that's coming up out of these storms and all this debris of grim and hell storms. You know what I mean? So let's get into it. I don't know why I felt the need to explain it. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. When it comes to Libra and your energy sun moon rising, please show me what divine message is highlighted for Libra. Libra, you are the final, the final one for the night. What message is highlighted for Libra? Okay. You kind of want to spit them in there. Get themselves towards your neighbor. So we got luck is on your side, Libra. You need to be aware of this. You definitely could be dealing with the Sagittarius energy like I was speaking about that's coming in with the full moon. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like you may be that phoenix that could so high rise. You know what I'm talking about? Um, when I'm speaking on the phoenix, it does not have to be Scorpio energy. It's just talking about that energy of someone that's rising from all the brimstone, all the shit, the, the, the debris. You know what I mean? It's debris. <laughs> So we got an end of a tough cycle that's approaching for you. And you need to understand that luck is on your side when you're dealing with this cycle. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. This could be having something to do with your work or the work ethic that you're putting into a situation. So whatever this is, is coming to a closure. So you got, it's time to release negativity and expect powerful change. These are some things that's in reverse for you, um, Libra. So it's some things you could be dealing with a Scorpio. And this is also something that's coming in with this new moon ecliptic energy like I was speaking on. Talking about this, um, expect powerful change. But with this being in reverse, 
universe. This energy coming in is definitely hidden for sure. But really, I'm not feeling like this is hidden energy so much. I don't know why I'm saying this because normally when it's right up, upright, then it's pretty much hidden because it's eclipted energy. But with it being upside down, it's either... It's either hidden and not going to be revealed or it's either kind of revealed and you may think it's hidden. You know what I mean? Take it how you choose. And it's like you could deal with the scorpionic energy here where it's time to release negativity. There could be some negative things that could have stung you, stung the situation. You could have stung someone. Or this is something that you could be stuck in right now in this energy and you're being told to release this energy. It's time to release it. Maybe you're not aware that it's time to release something. We got to hold your vision here when it comes to this end of the tough cycle. But if, as long as you hold your vision, nothing will come out of this situation. This is fixed energy. I feel like you need to understand it's time for you to be bold and make the first move to something, Libra. Yeah, surrender to the divine. That's the move that you need to make. Here it is. I'll show you. Be bold and make the first move, right? That move is surrender to the divine. As long as you surrender to the divine, then prosperity is ahead for you. And you may even have some romantic things on your side with the tough cycle coming to it, you know, all this stuff coming to an end. So it's like, it's, like I said, the end of a tough cycle is approaching. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. It doesn't mean that it's going to necessarily end, but the end of the tough cycle, the toughness, the roughness of it, the, the, the bullshit. But it's up to you if you want to keep that cycle going. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Lucky is on your side, but you need to know that you need to expect powerful change. For some of you, so this is on the way. But you got to release certain things that's negative in your life first and foremost. Let's get into it. So this is some type of um, chakra energy. You could be in beast mode and that's what's up. Definitely need to be paying attention to heavenly signs or you may be paying attention to heavenly signs about a situation before. And this, is, this could have something to do with the Gemini or a Cancer energy. Um, here you can be dealing with the Gemini Cancer Cups or a Gemini or a Cancer. It depends on where the energy is sitting at. But this is someone that's more intuitive. This is also about paying attention to those heavenly signs. Um, intuitive, sensitive, this could be a mother. Someone that's with Queen of Air energy, definitely your energy, Libra, when you're dealing with this. You can have Cancer in your chart, you have Gemini in your chart, but we're definitely talking about your energy, Libra. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Please take out the time, Libra, and like, subscribe, and share to the channel. And please show me where it's time to release negativity and expect powerful change in reverse is pertaining to for Libra, please. Right. It's time to release negativity and expect powerful change in reverse. For Libra, please tell me what those those opportunities be. Sacral energy, bottom low, um, bottom energy here. I feel this is also sexual energy. This is also about making sure that you know this is where you, you, you to me, a navigation coming in from this. Um, um, to me, this is where your your the spark begins. Whether you know creative spark, sexual spark, whatever it is on that note, but I feel like it's more about fire energy coming in with this card that's surrounding it and if somebody may be liking you you may be growing a heart or love for someone this is that sacred energy and also um you know the heart chakra energy jasper stone is standing out right now the most and i feel down what's up with the chakras chakras being lit up libra damn but it looks like when you're high on something and this could be some type of toxic wave that's coming through, and it's you know the, you know that the, that's that's putting you in this Queen of Fire and Sagittarian energy here. And I don't know if it's you or someone else. Whoa, let me let me read them. Hold on, let me move it over here. Put it over here. So what we have here. Okay, let me 
opening this, right? Okay. That ain't really cool energy what I'm looking at. This is very toxic energy here. We got the sacrio um the sacrio card here. You know, this is this is very good enlightenment. Let's get it, let's get it right. Now, this is not bad to have. This is your chakras being enlightened, and it actually um the heart chakra. It's actually going in a format that's similar, but it's a little off. It's imbalanced, yes. Um, we got the heart chakra here. And we have the solar plexus chakra, the self-esteem, you know, centering yourself. But then we have only when I'm around. This, and with this card, this is like a person that has to get like this to in order to make things work. They have to get blunted up. They have to drink. They have to kick it. They have to pop pills. They have to be sexual or overrated, you know. And this is a toxic wave. This is toxic energy. That's a wave. And it, it means like this could be caught up in some type of wave. This could be a, a group of people. You know, queen of fire. This is, you know, that one energy, energy someone definitely in control. Um, Sagittarian energy, someone who's been through the ropes, you know, so they know how to handle these type of situations. You know, this is facts. <laughs> what it's showing. But it's a, it's a wave of energy here of someone that could be putting on a show. You see what I'm saying? And it's an open window here for this, um, for this, um, for this grounded queen. But, to, but they have choices to free themselves from a grounded king energy. So they can push restart on a situation here. Okay, so hold on. I don't know how that is. It's crazy. Anyway, yeah, this is the pay. Somebody could be being watched. You know, um, definitely spy energy here. Um, somebody's definitely um, taking a gamble. And this is the root of it all. Truman Show being watched, also surveillance energy, also being tricked into a different world, a different life, and this is not the real life that they're supposed to be in. It's like kind of being born into something that's not real. <clears throat> Trick, you know. Something's going on, Libra. The truth, you know. And here we go. This is the this is the message that's really coming out because I don't know why I'm being told to say that. But we got we got um snake energy and you're the one for me. Someone is chosen by a snake, maybe to be consumed. <clears throat> here. Yeah. energy though okay let's go ahead and keep going let's get this Libra this is a pretty deep ass message right so I don't think it's something to pay a small amount of attention to here this is about we trying to restore something here and it's being protected right now this is about um, being at the end of um, the rope to something. Messages are coming through. When it comes down to this, protection of the wands energy, um, six of, I mean, eight of wands energy. Someone could be courting a situation or got together a situation and they have a message to someone and, and to form alliance. An alliance, maybe, and someone may know what's going on. There's a Scorpio energy that's involved because Scorpio is showing up twice. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. Sagittarian energy is involved as well. Libra, this is pretty deep. Your energy is not really showing up just yet. Please show me a storyline for Libra's new moon reading. Something is being revealed that's hidden. This 
a lot of stuff going, I'm going around and coming out. Almost stuff people wouldn't believe. You know, uh, this words being said that, you know, is really sharp tongue, really negative energy. But this is beyond going by all means. This is being definitely stuck in that energy, though. Tower moment. Somebody got victory with what they done said. Definitely gained some type of abundance out of it. And, you know, growth, celebration. <clears throat> This is negative words being said. For real, real, real. Like I tell you, a tower moment is coming down to this. This is a tower moment that's falling due to something. That ha it has something to do with negative, negative shit that's being said. <clears throat> Let's get deeper into this reading. It's definitely somebody stuck in a position where they're going by all means to make something, you know, wicked and... Oof, and it's all about money. Look at the tongue and the coin between the teeth. Definitely some lies. Look at the gap. You know, it's an old wives tale. Not saying that it's true. It's just the way that it resonates with this reading. That when person a person has a gap in them between their teeth, you know, especially in the middle, the wider the gap, the more they are lying about a situation. Not saying that that's really true. I don't personally look at this type of shit. I think gaps are cute depending on the size of them. So I'm taking how you choose. Anyway, let's go ahead and clarify this message for you. You got time. It's time to release negativity in reverse. Something hasn't been released. Let's see. Something from the past. Here, it needs to be released. Some type of message to travel and let something go. Move around. It's time to take a travel or move to a situation cancer pisces scorpio energy then we got this expect powerful change in reverse please Let me clarify expect powerful change in reverse for libra all right so when it comes back down to this traveling and moving and in, in, in a, a straight a, a creative idea to make them to, to move on we got somebody, you know, connecting with someone and are connecting to a situation and walking away into, into stability here. You could be dealing with a um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Taurus. When it comes down to snake energy, please clarify some of you could definitely be dealing with an Aries as well. I forgot to mention Aries. My bad. So we got the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck here. This is achievements, rewards. Someone has um, transformed. This could be some type of transformation as well. Um, but we have the empress here. Someone could be moving fast towards the empress. The um, Gemini energy or a connection that's kind of old. This is a stable connection that's very old. Dropping some type of burdens on the Empress. Somebody is looking. This is snake energy. Someone is going to come back talking about they the one for them and it's fake. Okay, so anyway, we got you're the one for me. Let's clarify that. Someone is looking at you like the sunshine. Sunshine. You know, okay, I guess got the movie Harlem Nights. The old girl, sun, sun, Sunshine. Sunshine. What's, is that her name? She had the yellow dress on. Wasn't she a prostitute? Okay, so let's keep pushing. So somebody could have been, could, could be coming in that was back and forth and dropping burdens on you. Um, you're the one for me. Let's clarify. This could be an old twin flame connection, old soulmate connection. You're definitely getting cards that's trying to pop out. This warning is like the temperance. You've got guidance, divine guidance that's here. Someone is in agony up all night about the empress, someone from the past about this connection. Uh, they're, they're definitely in thought uh, um, and with memories when it comes down to a connection with the empress. They cannot rest or sleep at this point. They're not really saying why. They're just the one for them and they, they're in agony about it. That's just the only card it shows. It doesn't say that they're making any type of move, but they're definitely 
on some snake energy about how they um, treated, I guess, the empress, how they walked away from emotionally from the situation and did, you know, in and out, back and forth energy and they dropped the burden. Um, they did not, it doesn't look like they may have dropped the burden when it comes down to the stability, but they definitely dropped the burden of the connection. That's what it's looking like because... Never mind, I ain't gonna explain all that. It's one, three, four, one. So that's what I'm gonna say it like that. If you're a reader, you know what I mean. Um, okay, so somebody could be holding on tightly from to a situation and definitely holding back. Look, holding on tightly to a cancer, moving from moving forward, holding back from a cancer. That's moving forward. How take it however you choose. Anyway, somebody's in hermit mode. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Anyway, let's clarify this five of knives in reverse here. So the five of knives in reverse clarified for Libra, please. Libra, I say whatever this is you got going on. I don't know if this is a warning, but you do need to know that luck is on your side to the situation. This is a tower moment. This is a rebirth that's in your life that's getting ready to take place. You're hanging around with this Aries Taurus type energy here. You know, um, it could be a, a delay to certain things maybe, but you definitely got something that could be coming towards you. This person could be coming towards you that you do not want to deal with. This could be someone from the past that you really, really had a connection with. But I don't know. I don't really see you connecting. I don't think that's going to happen. There's just like this person doesn't look like they're going to really make any moves. They're just kind of stuck. Okay. So this person, Empress. Okay, I'm calling you Empress for show, Libra, because you you, you you showing up. We dealing with the Virgo, like I say, um, as well. But um, it looks like someone in from the past is, 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 is you know that, that was connected with you was in their head about um, this connection that they lost. They didn't accept it. They had their arms folded to it when it was being handed to them. It came right to them, and it was like damn fuck. You know, it, it came. It was like neck to neck, face to face. It was connected with me when I released that burden. They, they really, it's like. You know, it's like they're holding on to you, you on the stability note and the financial note, but it's actually more to this. But it's kind of like, if this is the only way that I can have this person, then so be it. I'll take it however I can take it. Type shit. Hunchback of Notre Dame energy. Uh, let me go ahead and get some advice here for you, uh, Virgo. I'm going to move those cards out the way in a second. Have some compassion about this situation, Libra. Because honestly, this person lost out on their own shit. You know, I don't know what type of energy this is here. <laughs> That's going on. Let me move this. <sighs> but, um, it, you know, it was some strategic shit. It looked like it, it was happening, you know. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or every five you tried. You could definitely have a negative Scorpio around you, Libra. Um, please show me um, what advice or motivation do you have for Libra for this new moon energy that you're giving them advice about. You need to be able to see something that's already kind of clear to you, I feel. But I feel like something may be happening close to the full moon. So you need to probably pay attention to that. This is about I'm not seeing this card. Making sure that you show gratitude and selflessness to a situation. Keep making sure that you, um, the humility of a situation. Know, know when you're wrong. Confess when you're wrong. Eight mile energy. Put your shit on the line. You know, uh, it, it's weird shit energy. You know, like before you... Something is almost off the table. I really just caught it with my elbow. I told myself I wasn't going to do that because it's not me. I can't be, you know, trying to stop whatever the energy wants to say. And with me stopping stuff from running off my table, that means I'm, 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 I'm blocking somebody else's energy. That's kind of how I feel about it. 
for also when it's, it, it doesn't belong on the table anymore, it no longer exists. And this is about generosity, receiving and withholding certain things. How you receive certain things, how do you say thank you? When you withhold, when you, how do you withhold certain information when you should give it? You know, the generosity, the, the generosity, the way that you show, um, the way that you show respect for certain situations. Um, can help people grow or can't will it do it taint and tarnish their energy or spirit or is this happening to you? So we got this transformation of intuition and patience. Someone may have lost their patience and may feel like, you know, you're you're not transforming in a situation, Libra. And also, you know, this when it comes down to certain types of survival techniques and false promises and stuff being made, someone could be stuck in this energy where they're pushing out false energy false promises making um you know this is for being stuck in a, t- a, a, a sometimes we can be stuck in certain survival technique forms that's not good and we you may need to find a different strategy a different survival technique or a different way of doing something i feel like you're in this is something somebody's intuition may be turned off right now um that energy doesn't feel like it's for everybody because you do got a real authentic purpose in staying disciplined and armored and making sure that you recognize and protect your boundaries. This is also about making sure that you're taking circulating routes and making sure you're paying attention to your perception of things, especially your spiritual perception of things. I feel like it's two different energies. Okay, um, okay. Libra, this is the final reading for tonight. Um, I do feel like you may definitely be head to head with some type of Sagittarian energy here. Um, Libra, something swift and could be moving towards you pretty quick. So I say look out for that energy. I do want to thank you for taking out the time to look at this reading. You could be waiting on the tower to fall, looking towards it. You are getting your um, energy you know, messages around you that's letting you know, keeping you updated on stuff, and all you are doing is um, watching, hanging around. Libra, I want you to have a good one, all right? Please like, subscribe, and share if you care. And um, on a good note, thank you for being my final reading (laughs) before the new moon steps in. Now I can take out the time to enjoy the energy of the new moon. You have a blessed one, Libra.